What's going on? Everybody. It is D-Man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today we got another episode of our Titan Steam team. So let's go ahead and hop into the lineup. Not a lot of action this week for the Titan Steam team, but we did get a pretty big upgrade. Uh, kind of a quantity over quality week for us. Um, one really, really good upgrade. We did get a left guard in the Super Bowl promo, but he's only an 88 overall. I didn't even add him to the team. He's not really, you know, going to factor in on us a lot unless you, you know, like to run a half Titan Seam team, half something else. Then you probably want to pick him up for, for, you know, to have the extra chemistry on the team. Uh, but like I said, there's not really much need for him because we have 56 out of 50 Titans already. Not, you know, really need to get up to 56. There's no point in that. So just decided to not go ahead and pick him up, you know, but maybe if he gets another upgrade... Uh, later down the road um, And I believe it's Aaron Stenny. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. I think that's right I don't know, but uh, he is the guy that that we got in the um, uh, Super Bowl pass promo if you want to add him to the team it really won't be much of a factor He'll probably just be slotted here at left guard our, our backup left guard So not really anything is too special this week offensively um, but we're still rocking with the same offensive line. I'm going to try to go, go pretty quick in the lineup update and get into the game this week. Probably going to be a shorter episode because not many upgrades, uh, which is fine with me because hopefully uh, I'll be able to get a little bit more gameplay in this episode. So, uh, yeah. Lawan, Saffold, Mawai, Quinn Spain, and Bruce Matthews are your offensive linemen. Conklin still does uh, need an upgrade. You know, when that when is that going to be? I don't know. Uh, but, you know, I do expect him. He's a pretty solid tackle in the NFL, probably top five, uh, you know, tackle in the NFL. So maybe not top five, put him top ten. Uh, but he's still really, really good. Uh, so I do expect him to get upgrade, uh, get an upgrade here soon. I don't know when, though, but I do expect him to get an up, another upgrade before the end of the year. Anyone else here? Ben Jones possibly could get another upgrade, but... You know, Kevin Mawai, I could see him getting an ultimate legend towards the end of the year. I, I really hope Mawai gets an ultimate legend. I don't want to have that same situation like last year where he got that mid-90s card and didn't get another upgrade for the rest of the year. This card was only a 94, I believe, or 95. Yeah, he was a 95, powered up to 96. So uh, it's going to be another kind of situation like last year where he kind of got stuck with that mid-90s card. But who knows? Uh, you know, Bruce Matthews, definitely going to get an ultimate legend. Uh, so... When that card does come out, we could probably slot him here and move him wide to right tackle. Uh, I don't know right now. Maybe we just keep Bruce Matthews at right tackle when he gets an Ultimate Legend card. But um, you know, that's another thing, another topic to talk about is Ultimate Legends. They're probably going to be coming out, uh, you know, to not next week, but the next. They normally do it the week after Super Bowl weekend, which is obviously not this weekend, but next weekend. So probably looking at about two weeks, we'll see our first drop of Ultimate Legends, and normally that's a pretty big drop. They'll probably drop, you know, between 6 to 10, 97 overall players, uh, you know, on one day. So that's going to be really, really nice. Hopefully we'll see, you know, maybe one or two, um, possibly even three Titans upgrades, uh, you know, that day. So that will be exciting. But like I said, not much action here this week. Uh, but we're still rocking with Jared Cook here at tight end. Um, Jonu Smith would love to get him an upgrade uh, i think that would be super awesome because just this johnny smith has really good speed on this low 90 card and you know if he gets a mid 90s to high 90s you know upgrade that that card's gonna be really really nice especially on a theme team getting the speed boost and everything so uh there's that we're still rocking with charlie joiner devin hester andre johnson again some of you guys were asking me how i get this devin hester with tennessee titan kim you guys see uh, on the bottom right hand or yeah the bottom right of the card you see that season one little logo there uh, that is the season one he was the season one master along with um, junior Seau so you could either pick between Hester and Seau I think this is a much more impactful card for your team than junior Seau uh, I did rock with junior Seau earlier um, this year uh, that's just because of the overall situation we were dealing with kind of weak there at, at, at the middle linebacker spot But once we got the Jay on Brown, I was like, you know what? I'll switch back over to Devin Hester because he can he can help the team a little bit more than the say I can Now you guys see he does out, you know, this is what he looks like uh, On really a non theme team. I, I don't have any speed boost on the wide receiver for strategy items uh, because 
um, with that Charlie Joyner up, uh, upgrade, I was just waiting for us to get one receiver that can get to 99 speed without those boosts, and Charlie Joyner is able to do that. So what I decided to do is go ahead and take off that wide receiver speed boost for uh, our wide receivers and go ahead and plug in something else that would help the overall out because really I only need one guy that can you know take the top off of defenses. So that's what I decided to do there. And I'll go ahead and go over strategy items after we go over the offense and the defense. But yeah, you guys see Hester. He's been on the team for a good bit. Maybe he gets another upgrade. This card is a 96. But the interesting thing is, is there was, I think it's DeMarcus Ware, who got a 96 overall. Same thing with this Hester. He got a 96 overall um, uh, Ghost of Madden pass player like this Hester. Uh, and then he actually, yesterday, got an upgrade. He was the LTD for the Super Bowl promo, and he was a 97 overall. That's literally just a plus one overall, which is crazy to me because I think they could have gone elsewhere with that upgrade uh, or that player. Uh, and they decided to give it to him, who already has a... Uh, 97 overall car because 96 powered up 97 and then he gets a 97 that's like a plus one upgrade it's just crazy to me crazy 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 there uh so you know definitely hester could get another upgrade by the end of the year and that card would be insane his route run uh you know his route running right now is really good too he's got like i think it said 95 short 95 medium 93 deep um so that card would be insane he'd probably have almost stock 99 uh speed too so um again that is why I went ahead and went away from the wide receiver speed boost because, you know, you can't upgrade that more than what you can, what we have currently right now. And let's go ahead and show you guys what we have. I think I haven't changed it since last week. Uh, it is sure-handed, so sure-handed does upgrade uh, plus three to catching, two to catching traffic, two to spec catch. I've been looking for the other one. I haven't had much luck finding uh, the other wide receiver uh, uh, strategy item that does boost uh, plus two to deep route running because that Charlie Joyner... It would help him out a lot to have that plus two deep route running on him because he has 97 deep route running right now. So to have him get plus two deep route running would be quite nice because that would put him at 99 speed and 99 deep route running, which would make him absolutely pretty much unstoppable on, on deep posts and stuff like that. Uh, and then our other strat item is on the move, uh, boost speed to halfbacks there. So you got AP there with um, you know, you see what he, his boosts are. Legarrett Blunt, you know, I, I'm, you know, I still. I'm just waiting, man. I really just thought we would have an Eddie George or, or uh, you know, definitely Eddie George card. But, you know, we could have possibly seen a um, Earl Campbell. Um, you know, I thought I thought we would have seen one of them by now. Um, but we just haven't. So, still having a route with AP and LeGarrette Blunt. LeGarrette Blunt never played a regular season game for the Titans, but he did play in the preseason for us. So, that's why I have him on the team. Um... I made that decision a while ago to add him to the team. I still haven't powered his card up all the way just because this AP is really good with that Energizer. It does uh, keep his stamina up, so I really don't need a, a really great backup. But, you know, when that 92 LeGarrette Blunt's in the game, he's not bad at all. And LeGarrette Blunt, we did see get, like, a little piece to a set for the Rasul Douglas. Uh, so maybe he gets a card soon. Um, if he does, then I'd definitely go ahead and add him to the team because that card would be pretty nice. His speed would be a little better, obviously, than the, the one than the one that is in the game right now. So um, would be a nice little upgrade there for LeGarrette Blunt if he got one. Uh, and then also another thing, Marshawn Lynch did go ahead and get a Super Bowl card. But the thing is about that card, you can't put any team cam on him like you can on this Most Feared card, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. But at the same time, you know, it wouldn't be really that that, that fun to play with Marshawn Lynch on a tight seam team. We kind of want to have backs that, you know, play for the Titans and be more fun. You know, this Hester is the only... Um, you know, kind of a, a non-Titan that um, that plays for us. We do see, uh, yeah, he's really the only one, though, that, that never played for the Titans. We got Titan, Titan Kim because that card is just crazy. It's, it's really good. Um, but like I was saying, we did go ahead and get Sure-Handed as well. This Sure-Handed is, is more boost for Sure-Handed. Uh, strat item, you get plus two awareness, plus two strength there. And then also on the move you do also get plus one to catching plus one to speed on your uh running backs there so that's really it offensively we still have andre johnson in the slot uh he's really good in the slot um big receiver you can put him on short routes corner routes stuff like that uh and he can get open for you um and then some other wide receivers we're just sitting here waiting on randy moss julio jones and also aj brown who's sitting in the binder right now um We'd love to see one of those guys get an upgrade because that would really, you know, obviously all three of those guys are going to get upgrades. It just depends on when 
and once we do get those guys get you know once those guys get do get upgrades it's gonna look very similar to the the the, the scary wide receiver um you know those four uh, players last year that were all wide receivers that were 99 overall this Charlie Joyner kind of takes the place of Tyron Calico uh, he's just a lot shorter uh, but yeah you know once we get all those guys upgraded Andre Johnson Randy Moss is going to get an ultimate legend it's going to be 99 overall Julio Jones is going to get uh, definitely going to get like a, a 98 99 overall card he's going to be great AJ Brown I would assume would would get another upgrade and it would be closer to you know 97 98 uh, 99 overall so uh, once we get all those guys upgraded, it's going to look really, really good here wide receiver-wise for us. So that is great. And we're still rocking with quarterback Derrick Henry because why wouldn't you? Uh, probably the most fun uh, player to play with in the game. And you guys see if you watch the MCS Madden Club, uh, you know, the championship where the competitive Madden players play, you see a lot of Derrick Henry quarterbacks still. I mean, the card is not only fun to play with, but he's still really, really good, um, you know, he hasn't been outdated because he's still a 97 overall. He's got the fastest release in the game. You can rock with pass lead to lead on him and still get, uh, you know, a really, really fast release. Like I said, he has the fastest release in the game uh, with escape artist on top of that for only 8 AP. Still really good. And we do have, um, you know, I do have tackles rocking with edge protector, but I want to try and take those off and see how it is without them. See if I even need those because I'd love to, you know, put... Uh, another route tech on the field for maybe like a Charlie Joyner or something. I don't know. Um, or put something else on someone else. So, um, but yeah, we do have Energizer and Jukebox on AP. Um, and that's it pretty much offensively. Still rocking with Frank Wycheck at fullback. When the Ultimate Legends come out, I wouldn't be surprised if we see um, a Lorenzo Neal for the Chargers to come out. Because that would be a really, really nice card to just have here at fullback for the rest of the year. That's kind of what happened last year. Um, but yeah, Frank Wycheck. Really good fullback. Love to go fullback dive and, you know, dive over the top um, with him because he's a really good guy to do it with. Carter Blossom game is another guy. Um, I do want to see if they did fix his redux uh, because, you know, you guys did know last week that his redux, no, it's still Zach Cunningham. So they didn't fix it, um, which obviously probably no one has complained about it because not really many people care about that. But, um, Maybe Carr gets another upgrade. I don't know. But really, the the, the, the the big upgrades on this offense is probably the Johnu Smith and then the wide receivers, Randy Moss, Julio, uh, A.J. Brown. And then we're waiting on a Derrick Henry upgrade here at running back. But, you know, how, we're probably going to be rocking this quarterback, Henry, for the long, for the rest of the year because he's probably going to get a golden ticket. Uh, and that golden ticket probably might be the greatest card to ever come out in Madden. Like, that, like literally no joke. He's got the best release in the game. And if you can slot the correct... Uh, you know, uh, ability slots on him. He, he he might go down as one of the best Madden Ultimate Team cards ever. Um, and, hit, and it being a quarterback, Derek Henry makes it even funnier. Uh, so yeah, and you know we're you know and like I said, Eddie George, Earl Campbell, um, CJ2K. I doubt we see him, um, but yeah, any of those guys here at, at, at halfback. Maybe we see Eddie George, Ultimate Legend. Earl Campbell, Ultimate Legend. Either one of those guys would be nice. But yeah, that's pretty much the offense. Let's move on to the defense here. Let's try to speed through this defense because we've really only got one upgrade. Uh, and it's that cornerback, and we'll go over him in a minute. Uh, Jack Tatum, like I said last week, I moved him over KB at free safety. He is an overall higher. I think they've got, you know, I think KB has an inch over Tatum. Uh, but Tatum is, you know, got better hit power. Um, I think a little bit better speed too. So I like to have Tatum here. Tatum, he will get an ultimate legend. He only has a 94 overall. He's going to get a high overall card by the end of the year. I expect him to. Uh, so yeah, that Jack Tatum card is really, really nice. We got a lot of strong safeties on this team, guys. A lot of them. Uh, like I said, a lot of strong safeties. We got Ken Houston over here, Monty Hooker. Ken Houston is our user. We let, let Hooker uh, play our, our strong safety role here. Um, so we got like three strong safeties on the field at all times, which is insane. But hey, I guess it is what it is. Wilbur Marshall. Brian Arakpo, funny enough, they're both uh, Washington, uh, I guess you can say commanders now, Washington commanders players, and, and both get Titans camps, so that's kind of funny, both are outside linebackers there. Uh, Jayon Brown, Rashawn Evans, both are middle linebackers, and like I said, could go back to the junior Seau once A.J. Brown and, and Julio get upgrades, but you know, with, with us having this Jayon Brown here, and also the, um, the team Diamond Master being Keekly, which I will eventually get. Uh, our middle linebackers will probably be set for the rest of the year unless, you know, Zach Cunningham gets another upgrade because I do expect him to get an upgrade. I don't know why he hadn't had an upgrade. 
um, because he played really, really well for us. But um, I don't know when he could get an upgrade, but, you know, I expect him to. Uh, and this Spillane, like I said, I've been talking about him, him since day one of Madden. This card could be really good if he gets an upgrade. He's got, like, 91 speed on this 84 overall. Um, I would love to see the Steelers LTD be this card because that card would be insane. Uh, but, yeah, that's pretty much it there on the top row, bottom row, Christian Fulton, new guy on the block. We're rocking with this uh, most fear card art because it's, it's, it's pretty badass in my opinion. Uh, here's this Rising Stars card art, which you probably saw in the thumbnail, but that is that. But I'm rocking with the most fear card because I think that's that's it's pretty it's pretty badass. Uh, Christian Fulton here though, 99 overall guys. Uh, really important to get him up to 99. They did go ahead and give him six foot, uh, which is much better than 5'11. You know, uh, I think he's listed at 5'11. Uh, on the internet and they gave him six foot so that's a good thing he's got, he's got 99 speed 98 excel 98 agility 99 jumping 95 play rec with 99 man coverage and 99 zone coverage and 93 press guys um this is an in-game cornerback uh and and it was a big big upgrade for our titan steam team because really we only had one amazing cornerback and that was logan ryan and now we get this christian fulton on top of it this is just fantastic um you know like i said he's got 99 speed 98 excel 99 man 99 zone and he's reliable at six foot 197 um really good guys this card is really really good 95 change of direction as well anything else we can take away from this card uh 82 block shed is incredible actually that's actually insane i didn't even notice that on this card 82 block shed on christian fulton too so he's going to be able to get in on some run plays if if they if my opponent runs a little bit of stretch he's going to be out there block shedding so i mean that this card is really good i think this is one of the more under the radar cards for the rest of the year we probably won't um he probably will he'll definitely still be our starter for the rest of the year um who who else could get an upgrade? Jason McCourty, Jack Rabbit, two guys that could potentially get upgrades. But uh, you know Desmond King maybe. Um, we do have Elijah Molden uh, who who's still in the binder right now. But other than other than those guys, you know maybe we get a Samari Roll. I was hoping we'd get him for our um, either Team of the Week card, and then we got Team Diamonds that following week. And then I was hoping we get him for Team Diamonds, but then it ended up being Vince Young. Uh, so really guys, I don't know, cornerbacks this year are kind of weak for us, um, but I would really, really love to see either Desmond King, Jack Rabbit, Jason McCourty, any of those guys get an upgrade, because really we only need one more cornerback to have, uh, one of the best cornerback cores in the game, um, because Logan Ryan is definitely in game, Christian Fulton is in game, if we can get one more really good cornerback, this defense is almost set for the rest of the year, um, probably would need one more D tackle upgrade, uh, but our defensive ends are really good. Danico Autry is one of the more underrated cards too. This dude makes a lot of plays, uh, but he, I mean, you'll probably see him today, get a play or two today, and, and you'll probably just forget about it uh, the next play because it's, it's just kind of, he's one of those guys um, that you don't know. To, I, I don't know how to explain it, but he just makes a lot of plays for me, and then you realize, like, I, I don't know, but a lot of plays ma made from Danico Autry. Defensive tackle, um... Jeffrey Simmons, I, I want Jeffrey to get a really high overall card so we can start him at D-Tackle. Um, Jeffrey Simmons, like I said, he does have 86 overall power, up to 87 uh, left in card right now. He's a pro bowler. He could get the pro bowl uh, LTD. You know, I think we had, who was last year? Deshaun Watson and uh, Fletcher Cox last year was our two LTDs. Jeffrey Simmons could definitely get an LTD, and that would be a great card to have because... He would be a great defensive tackle for us. Uh, that card would be awesome. Um, you know, Tier Tart, Al Woods have both played really, really well for us. Tier Tart's awesome um, with that inside stuff, though. So uh, I think left ends pay a little bit more inside stuff uh, instead of D tackle. So that would be the problem there. Um, but maybe, just maybe, we see Albert Hainsworth or some sort of guy like that um but i don't know i think we'd see an albert hainsworth in the game already if he would be in the game so uh i don't know on that but yeah if jeffrey simmons gets an upgrade either throw him at right end or left end uh and then may even move curse to the tackle and have him as our spy there in the middle i don't know what we would do because we got so many great defensive ends just, i don't even know what we could do with all of them so uh like i said and jack youngblood 
uh, which I don't even know who else to go with here because the other ones are is, is Sean Alexander, who's a running back, which probably would be our best bet to, to go ahead and get a Sean Alexander right now to have a good running back too. Um, so that's probably what I'll do, but I completely forgot about that. Uh, Jack Youngblood, though, there. Uh, and then CB2, Logan Ryan. Christian Fulton, Logan Ryan. Hopefully they'll make some plays today because they are two really, really good players. Um, and, yeah, defensively, abilities for the team. I must have move someone somewhere else yeah Monty Hooker here go ahead and throw Acrobat back on him but Acrobat on Monty Hooker inside stuff on to your tart Jack Rabbit Jenkins with Acrobat as well in the slot Danico Autry with unpredictable Jack Tatum with Acrobat and shutdown and then Christian Fulton with shutdown and Acrobat Ken Houston shutdown and Acrobat and Logan Ryan with Acrobat so yeah we'll have to see how Christian Fulton plays today as him uh, being the newest addition to the team uh, but yeah, that is that for the defense and all the abilities there. Special teams, rocking with Brett Kern and Randy Bullock still. Um, Hester returning kicks for us as well. Specialist, um, AP is our third down back. Slot wide receiver is Devin Hester. Anything else here? Slot CB is Jack Rabbit. Jenkins, um, don't think anything else there is new. Still rocking with the Raiders offense and Dolphins defense. Um, like I said, this is what I'm talking about. So you can't upgrade these um, strategy items that boost speed, but for some reason you can for the defense in the zone. I don't know why you can there. Maybe it's just offensive uh, strategy items. Um, but yeah, you can't boost this anymore because it gives plus one speed. That's why I went ahead and changed it up uh, to go with sure handed. Uh, and plus, I like the overall a little bit more than just having plus one speed. You really won't tell that big of a difference between Hester having 98 speed and 97. Just trust me, this is more important than one speed um, because you got a guy that can already take the top off of defenses and um, Hester has got route tech, so he's going to get separation no matter what his speed is. So that's why I think this is a little bit more important than having that speed boost to your wide receivers. It also goes to tight ends as well. So uh, I think that's more important uh, to have on your team than the other strategy item, with uh, which is deep route specialists, which boosts the speed to wide receivers. Uh, so yeah, that's why I have that there. And like I said, we got in the zone, mind reader defensively there. You see everything that it boosts. Uh, and then that's it. And then we got the best coach in the NFL, Mike Vrabel, with the Titans home um, in Nissan Stadium in Nashville. And then we are also working with the Titans home in a way uniform. So that, with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into a... All right, guys, hopping in to this one. There's our top three. Christian Fulton making his appearance in the top three along with Logan Ryan. And Ken Houston, there's my opponent. Not the greatest team, but still, uh, we are in a pretty high division. So no matter who I play, they're going to be really, really good. So with that being said, um, let's kick this thing off and uh, let's start this game off uh, right and get a win. All right, my opponent is starting out in single back here. So um, always first and foremost in Madden, you gotta you gotta stop the run. Um, but if you can't establish the run early. Uh, it can pay dividends as we almost jumped that route. Uh, that would have been a nice start to the game. If we could have jumped that uh, little out route there to Najee Harris. And I kind of hesitated there. You saw me. I was on it for the longest. I did not think he was going to throw it. So I was just going to drop back uh, and take that other crosser away that was dropping. That was coming in right behind it. Uh, and this time he's going to have the tight end wide open. I think that's Jonu Smith. It looked like it was Jonu Smith. But... Um, that was a good throw there. Uh, I'm giving him flats right now. That's just something I gotta, I gotta just keep an eye out for. He's gonna try and throw that. That's Wilbur Marshall trying to make a play on the ball, but that was Amani Hooker. Still, they gotta fix that, guys. Amani Hooker right now is wearing number 31, so I keep thinking he's Kevin Byard, um, but they gotta fix that, guys. He's 37. Um, you know, not only do we have one mistake, we also have. Uh, two, you know, like I said, the Car Blossom game, his it Redux has Zach Cunningham on it, and then also in game situation, um, Amani Hooker still has number 31, so they've yet to fix that. It's kind of sad, but that, okay, that's gonna be out of bounds, so incomplete. So now it's fourth and ten. Let's see what my opponent's going to do. Again, we're not playing the greatest player, guys, I'll be honest, so. Hopefully we can get a little quick, a little rage quit here and hop into the next one. Uh, we gotta get off the field here, though, so. Um, I really want to take away flats here. Myself. He's going to have him wide open there. 
he's going to be able to pick it up. So I'll probably have to just go Mabel coverage, or I'll just go hard flats and just use her anything across the field. All right, I think I'm going to go hard flats and just um, use her crossers across the field myself. Uh, but that does vacate in the middle of the field, so... He is go not going to get sacked, but that was cursed there on the pressure. Uh, forces him uh, to throw the incompletion. Once again, we will do the same thing. Really just want to try our best to get home here. Um, doesn't have any edge protectors, so I mean, we don't have any you know, edge threats or anything like that either. So he's going to throw that back to the middle of the field. Try to click on to Wilbur Marshall to make the tackle, but clicked on the wrong guy. And this guy's driving down the field on me. I'm, I'm feeling pretty bad right now because this guy's not any good i'm leaving that crosser wide open he throws it to him all right i'm getting absolutely embarrassed because this guy's not even good and, and we're giving him wide open routes after wide open routes we're just gonna go mabel coverage here and he's getting pretty tight in here so i could probably just get away with running hard flats if he gets inside the 10 um Alright, come on, just pick the ball off. And we, of course, we can. That would have been Fulton's first pick. But instead, it's going to be second and ten as that play took about 40 seconds to develop because I dropped everyone back. But that's my, that might just, you know, I had to, uh, of course, I'd get stuck on Clowney here. Alright, this time we're going to get him down, but he gained seven yards with Herbert. I tried to put a spy out there, but obviously you guys saw I got stuck on Jadavion Clowney there. Um... This time I got my adjustments down. It is going to be a run, and we aren't going to be able to stop it as Najee Harris gets it all the way to the three-yard line. <laughs> all right, guys, uh, and I'm not going to uh, – I should just call a timeout here. I'm going to call a timeout go 3-4. This guy's not scoring on me, guys. I'm sorry. I just can't let it happen. Um, There we go. Sacked. Curse. Actually, not even. Oh, uh, yeah, that was a sack. Uh, loss of one right there. We're going to do the same thing. This is going to be a run, and he's going to get in. So, yeah. Um, but I feel like we can score on this guy easily. Unless he has a great defense, and we're just losing to the worst Madden player ever with the worst team. So, yeah. All right. Not only did he score a, a touchdown on me, he uh, faked the field goal and uh, scored. So, yeah. Uh, we're going to try and unleash a long one on him with Charlie Joyner here. Um, and let's see if we can. I'll just take off with Henry. Henry just trucks two guys, man. I, I'm playing very viciously right now. I'm pretty upset. Um, I was just trying to get a deep one there to Charlie Joyner. But he was, it looked like he was usering it. So I'm going to see if we can get this little short corner to work here with Hester. We do. Possession catch it. It's another gain of 10. We're going to be able to drive down the field on this guy pretty easily. I just got to um, not force anything. Um, I am going to put Peterson on this quick little out route. Uh, I do want to see what he does against this. I'm going to take off again. Give me a little block up field. Henry just got out of bounds. That was a big hit. Henry, two rushes for 36 yards. Again, we'll do this all game if we have to. Uh, we're going to keep, uh, keep the tempo up. Yeah, he has no spies out there, uh, and no one's going to catch Henry on his team for sure. So we're just going to continue to do that. So here we go again, coming out the same exact play. I'm going to look for Hester this time. I haven't been looking his way, uh, and it looks like he's been getting open. So we're going to throw it to him here, and that's Palomalu down there he's using it with. But he didn't get his feet down. Come on now, guys. That's, that's a catch. I don't know how that is not a catch to Devin Hester on the sideline. All right. I'm going to look uh, to go to Peterson really quickly here underneath. He's going to get flagged, though, because he was out of bounds. Ugh. That's tough. That is tough. All right, we're going back to Hail Mary offense. I mean, what else are we supposed to do is I'm running it to the short side of the field like an absolute idiot. Um, but we're going to look to go AP out the backfield here. It's there. We got all day, though. 
We also have Hester across the middle. He breaks the tackle. Hester fighting to the nine yard line. Okay, so here we go. Gonna go no huddle. I'm gonna look again to go to Adrian Peterson out the backfield because it looked pretty open that last time and it is open here. So let's see if we can get in to the end zone and we do. So now our only job is to get a stop. To get a stop. That's all we have to do here. We're obviously gonna go for two and tie it up. Um, looking for Charlie Joyner. That's our first read. Tried to open it up early with Charlie Joyner. Didn't really see him, but he did have to respect him and user him. Uh, so yeah, that was a good thing. So we're going to go past lead elite there to Charlie Joyner. That's going to be a two-point conversion. And we're going to tie the game up at eight. So now we got to get a stop on this terrible Madden player. All right. I'm going to go Mabel coverage every single time. It worked. Someone get there. T.R. Tart got there. I was trying to dive there with the Nico Autry. Didn't get there. Now it's second and 11. Do we send some pressure? Look like he came out in eye form. I got to watch out here. All right. If this guy runs it on me, go ahead and run it on me. I'm going to give you flats here. If we can get home. That would be fantastic. What are we doing here? All right, he is going to run the ball, and I think he just—I think he chose the wrong play, guys. I'll, I'll be honest, because it looked like he was trying to drop back in the shotgun, um, and he ran back with his running back, thinking he was in like a play-action play. So, I guess that benefits us. Um, that kind of does suck, but hey, it is what it is. Um, as Peterson going to get a little juke move there, oh, could have broke one there. Uh, gets, it up, gets it up to the 31-yard line and see what this guy's going to do. He's going to stay in the game. It is still, you know, it's a two-point game, so I don't blame him. Uh, but we're going to go back to our same play, a little flood play here. Try and hit the deep ball. Actually, we're going to just motion out Joiner uh, and see if he can just split the seam. I'll put AP on a little out. I'll actually block him. Is Charlie Joiner just going to get over the top of that? No, he's not. And I try and force one to Charlie Joyner. I mean, I'm trying to make some plays here today, but that was kind of a force there. I mean, he's not going to get behind that, 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 that. Oh, my God. I just gave him the ball right back. I just want to end the game. I really just want to quit the game and get, get to a new. This is just a boring gameplay. All right. Into the five wide he goes. Well, we get another safety. So, yeah. Uh, I guess we'll take that. I mean, I don't know why he's rolling out with no escape artists. And we've got one of the best contained men to do it. Javon Curse is fastest defensive end in the game, I think. Um, but let's see what we can do here. Can we? All right, it's going to go out of bounds. We're going to get it at the 40. So, um, actually, we get it at the 50. Is that a rule? If you punt it out of bounds on a safety punt, um, you get it at the 50. I didn't know that. All right, so here we go. Um... We're going to actually just throw this thing to Peterson out the flats if it's there. It's not. A's there, though. That's going to be Johnny Smith. Love to go two tight end packages here with, with this personnel we have. Uh, two great tight ends still. I think Johnny Smith still is really, really good because of his speed. Um, so that is that. We're going to look for it again. This time we're going to throw underneath to Jared Cook. who's going to gain about six, five, five yards there. We can chew some clock out here and try and work the clock. Um, because we do get ball at half. So, yeah, that is always a good thing. We're going to juke to the inside there with Peterson, who is going to gain a good amount, about up to the 15, uh, about a gain of 12, and we're going to do it again. We're going to try and work this clock as much as possible. He looks like he knows how to shoot the gap, though, um, right there with Palomalu, but that's fine because we'll continue to chew clock off. I don't know why he's not calling his timeouts right there because uh, I will gladly chew this clock all the way down if I really want to uh can i put i want to motion out cook and put him on a slant all right here we go johnny was open oh that was a little late a little late we're going to, have to call timeout we got two plays maybe three um i'm gonna go eye form and and hopefully he maybe thinks this is a run um, but with this third and inches, this cook corner is really, really nice. If you just smart route it, it's just a short corner. Uh, and he's just going to run commit. We're going to have him wide open. 
Jared Cook touchdown. All right, go up 10 points here. We're going to take our extra. Actually, yeah. Okay, good. So that guy's out of here. So we're going to go ahead and get into the next game. Hopefully, it's a little better than that one. All right, guys. Hopping into the next game. Following that pretty boring game. Uh, there's our top three. Love to see Christian Fulton in that top three. And looks like we're just taking on an all-around theme team. Didn't look like it was theme team related there. Three different teams in the top three. So, yeah. We are playing at Gillette Stadium. So, hopefully... We can get two dubs today, maybe even three if this guy quits, you know, pretty quickly. We'll see, though. Get the ball first. Got to start out with a bang. When you have two really good tight ends, this is always a great formation you can go to. Um, and a, a great play call as well. Uh, he does try to send some heat. We're going to take off here. Ted Hendricks ain't going to be there. Uh, we're going to make another guy miss. And we're going to get out of bounds for a gain of 14 yards on the first play of the game. We're going to go right back to that same play. Uh, again, he's got one guy with our guard and two. So we're, unless, unless he runs a different play here. But we're going to look to go either Johnu Smith or Jared Cook. We're going to have Johnu Smith catch and run. Juke unable to break the tackle, but we are up to the 26-yard line. One pass for Henry, one gain for 25 yards. And once again, Johnny Smith's going to get open. Can we truck away in? No, we cannot. Down to the two. Can we just quickly... I want, I want Henry to have a game here. So I want to I wanna have as many, as many um, touchdowns with Derrick Henry as I can. Henry, at that time, gets to the one. Um... So I think I'm going to go to our two-point conversion play. Um, go spacing and just make the right read. Um, so yeah, here we go. Kind of isolated joiner there to the left. What does this guy have? Probably going to be acrobat, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be acrobat. So just got to make sure joiner beats him to the inside. He does. Um, can we just take off with Henry and get it? Yeah, we can. So we will take that. I don't care if it's passing, rushing touchdowns with Henry. I just want to have a really good game here with Henry. Uh, so we're going to go back to that same play. Um, and we're going to look to this bunch and kind of read and see who gets open as Hendricks over helps on the slant. And we throw it to Andre Johnson who scores on a two-point conversion. It's 8-0. All right, here we go. Gonna be a little play action here. I'm in Mabel coverage. Give that up over there. Throws it away. All right, that's pretty good defensive uh, play by us, covering up pretty much the entire field for a long period of time. So this time, I'm actually going to give him the flats. Uh, we're gonna try to take away flats with our user here. He is going to throw that ball, and what a what a what a spin with Jalen Waddle. That Jalen Waddle, I've heard a lot of good stuff about. Uh, you know, if you don't run Titan Steam Team, I do recommend picking up that card. It's really really good. I think he does get up to 99 speed, and he might also get up to 99 deep route running with deep route specialist. So, um, yeah, I mean that card, I've seen him play, and it's he is it's a really good card, guys. So um, I'm actually gonna put Curse in a flat. Um, and this time it's going to be a little wheel to the outside. I'm surprised he didn't throw it there as well because he's got a guy wide open right there in Percy Harvin. That's a good tackle by Logan Ryan. It's pretty much a touchdown saving tackle there. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go back to Mabel here because that was what worked on that very first play unless this is a run and it is not. Um, and the corner might be open. It is going to get open right over Wilbur Marshall's head. He is in the 10-yard line, which I get a little bit more comfortable Defending inside the, the 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 ten and inside the five, just because you know your opponent doesn't have that much room to work with, uh, and you can run hard flats and still have contains out there, so he's not going to be sitting back there all day. Um, so that is the plan here. It's going to go hard flats out of three four, uh, and he is going to be in this little patriot um, formation where he's going to run the ball with Jalen Hurts and he's going to go nowhere. That's going to be Ken Houston plugging up that gap there. Uh, so once again, I'm going to, I'm going to use it with Jay on here. Actually, it is going to be throw out of this and it's going to be the old wheel route in Madden 22. Tough route to stop. Touchdown there, Cordero Patterson. Um, I'm going to see what he is actually going to kick his 
field goal extra point here. He doesn't call timeout. Okay, so I guess he forgot I went for two, and it's a two-point game. So he is going to go for two here. Uh, and once again, he is going to be in that same look. And I'm just going to try and take that wheel right away. Which I do there. And Danico Autry. Like I said, he's making a play here. There's another one. I mean, it, not, it might not be the greatest play, but it is a two-point play. It's a big play, guys. That is a very big play. See if we can score again. All right, back out on offense. I'm going to go two bunch. And I really just want to unload one to Charlie Joyner. I'm just going to I'm just going to just hope that this is cover 3 and I can split the seam here with Charlie Joyner. I'm going to block everyone else. He's going to try and send some heat. Um, but here we go. Yeah, picked up the pressure. We're just going to throw it to the sideline to Hester who's going to get open there. No need to try and force anything um, here. Yeah, it was a little zone blitz, so um, able to get that away quickly was pretty nice and we're going to try the same thing. Um, but if Hester's open, he's open and we're going to throw it to him. So Again, it is going to be that same zone blitz. Um, he might have gotten open there, but let's just get out of bounds with Henry. Um, four rushes, 22 yards. Again, Truss would be nice to get activated early in this one. You know, we're, we're in the second quarter, and he's got four rushes already for positive yardage. So uh, that is always a good thing to have Truss activated where you can just run around with Henry uh, and, and try. Oh, we had Hester for a touchdown if we had time. Bosa gets home for the sack, and that is a big sack because it is going to bring up third and long, third and 17. We're going to come back out in the same look, blocking everybody, and we're going to look to unleash one to Devin Hester here. Oh, we got a lot of room to run. All right, tackle's going to be made. We are in field goal range, but, you know, who cares, man? We're going to go for it. Because uh, this is Madden, and who, who doesn't go for it on 4th and 5 at the 41-yard line? Uh, we're going to have the drag wide open. Um, Jared Cook going to be up, get it up to the 28 for about a gain of 13. And we're going to put Hester on a slant here. We're going to block, and we're going to put AP on the little out route there. And we're going to have Andre Johnson, who's going to gain another Big gain there. It's about a gain of 16 up to the 12 yard line. We're gonna look for Hester this time. We're gonna put Joiner on a slant this time, and I'm just trying to I'm just trying to play around here and see what we can do here. Um, see if it will work. And let's just run with Henry. Get in there. Touchdown. Touchdown Titans. All right. I kind of got scared. I thought it was gonna get a quarterback hit fumble, uh, but we did not. I'm gonna take my point and make it a nine point game, which makes it a two possession game. Uh, that's a big score there. Again, he does get ball at half, so if we can come out and get a stop this possession, that might end the game. I did go ahead and try and go with the onside kick there. Wasn't able to co uh, convert uh, as he is going to get pancakes here, letting his blocks develop uh, and gains about 10 there. Um, and the reason I did that is because if he's going to score, I want him to score a little bit quicker so we can get the ball back. Um, but he is going to be the two-minute warning. I don't know why he would pick a play there. Uh, but it is still going to be a nine-point game, and uh, he's going to stay in gun trips. Okay, so um, I don't think I'm going to uh, play hard flats here. Uh, and, yeah, that's fine because he's going to run the ball this time. We just got to make a tackle, guys. Just got to make a tackle. Again, he gains about eight yards there, seven, eight yards there. It's going to be second and three this time. Um, and he's, I, 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 you know, he's going to try and work this clock and leave me with as little time as possible. Uh, and I try to make a big hit with there. With 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 the Monty Hooker, who's wearing number 31, which is just absurd to me. Um, all right, this is gonna be a pass here. What a play! I'm telling y'all, Danico Autry just makes plays. He's a really good spy, uh, and that clock is going to be. It's going to get pretty low there. Oh, no. And I kind of just overhelped on that underneath route. And Gronk was able to get open. Uh, or that's Travis Kelsey. That's my fault, not Gronk. He's in the Patriots uniform. Kind of got confused there. So that's a big play, uh, you know, to in the half. Unless I can get in field goal range and get a field goal. That would be pretty nice because then I would still have pretty good control of this game. 
Uh, so that's exactly what we're going to try and do here. With 21 seconds, I can work the field. I've got all three timeouts. If we can get a field goal out of this, that would be nice. All right, guys, we're going to look for the sidelines here. Uh, looking for Hester. Um, great help. just a silly throw and we almost are able to make the play um golly you know Hendricks thought I was going to run there which I'm surprised he bit on that good pick up there run Henry run Henry timeout two seconds left I don't want to mess up Henry's perfect game so what we're going to do is just Dude, I really want to just test Joiner here. Um, but I might just pick up a yard with Henry and get to halftime. Um, and get Trez activated for halftime. Um, we'll just throw this to Adrian Peterson. My battery's either a little low here. Uh, and we're going to juke to the inside. AP is able to get to about the 40. And that's going to be the last play of the half. I really wanted to get three there, but... That first play kind of stalled us out. It took off eight seconds, left us with ten. It was going to be tough to get the field goal range from there. And yeah, he gets the ball at half. So again, a stop would be huge. All right, guys. Uh, I just had to go change my batteries, and I'm stuck in cover four. Looks like I got four down linemen on the field here. Um, okay, it worked out. Kevin Byard able to make a play there. So Kevin Byard. Back on the field, able to make a play immediately. So that was two, four, five. Okay, so that wasn't a... Okay, I might have to... You know, I want to expand my defensive playbook. You know, it's a little different to to um, to work defensive plays than it is offensive plays because you can just like... All right, Danico's going to be there to make the stop. It's going to be third and eight. This is a big play because, you know, you always have... Even if you don't want to punt, if you can get a stop here and force an incompletion on fourth and eight of your own twenty-seven, it's probably you're probably still gonna go for it. Um, is that take it away there? You know, Brian Arakpo is an outside linebacker. It's probably not gonna, you know, that low ball there is gonna pretty much take him out of the play completely. So that's a good play there. I took away what he wanted to go with, which was that deep corner. To Percy Harvin, and this time it is going to be a play action. He's going to throw that right to Ken Houston. What is he doing? Did he think I was too far underneath the route? As I'm going to try and juke back to the inside, we're going to get it about at midfield. That's a big play, Ken Houston. If we can go back up nine points, two possession lead for the rest of the game, that would be big. Uh, and that's exactly what we're going to try and do. I think he thought I was too much underneath the route, but man, Ken Houston, 6'3. So he's always going to be a factor here. So um, I'm going to slide left, try and pick this pressure up. And we're going to look for Hester. Joiner? Oh, my God. Just get the incompletion, please. Or catch it, Andre Johnson. Ag catch, Taylor Mays. And we're at the five. We're going to run this ball with it. No, we're not. We're going to go back to what we were just running. And where's Charlie Joiner? He's on the other side. I don't know if Charlie Joyner could have made a play on that ball. Uh, we're going to go. We're just going to try and run around and do something here with Henry. Wise wide open. But can we get there? Oh, my God. That could have been a crazy play from Henry. So Henry has two rushing touchdowns right now. Do we want to get, get him another? Or do we want to just score? Uh, you know, if I just sat in the pocket there, uh, <laughs> um, Hester got wide open. Um... All right, we get to the two there. He got three yards that play. Uh, I'm going to go I form. We're going to go here. And, you know, Trez is activated now. So all I have to do is not get sacked for the rest of the game, and Derek Henry will not fumble if we, we scramble past the line of scrimmage. And B is going to be wide open. We'll throw it to B, take our points with Hester. I could have scrambled in, too, if I wanted to. But we'll take our points there and be safe. Hester there. And we're not going to go for two. We're going to make it a nine-point game. That's Ken Houston's touchdown right there, guys. Ken Houston made a play, got the offense, the ball back at midfield. And, yeah, we go back up nine. So it's just like we we were in the first half, uh, except he doesn't, ha he doesn't have the opportunity to get the ball back at half. So, yeah, up nine. Even if we don't get a stop, we still have full control of this game. But if we get a stop here, it's almost locks. 
All right, and with the interception, that does give uh, give Ken Houston his X factor. So obviously, that will factor in here if it's a tight uh, if it's a tight play. That's out of bounds. Okay, so it wasn't out of bounds, but it's illegal touching because he stepped out before he caught it. It established this, you know, back in, but it's still a penalty. Um, I hate that because I wish, I wish AI and Madden would have the brain to understand. Like, again, Danique Waltry is able to make another play. We're, we're taking away Jalen Hurts' ability to scramble, um, and I don't know if he's liking that or not. Um, but yeah. Here we go. This is a big play here. Throws it underneath. It's going to be very close, guys. It's going to be fourth down and inches. All right, so let's see what this play call is. I'm very intrigued. All right, it is going to be that. Okay. I'm going to go 3-4. And we're going to go pinch dog to press. This is normally my goal line defense. Um... Come on, baby. Let's get a stop in the game right here. Let's go. He's throwing the ball, so I'll go back to 3-4. And I don't have a spy out on the field. Yeah, I was just kind of, you know, thinking, like, he's making those adjustments. He's not going to run the ball. But if I audible to 3-4, I'm not going to have a spy out on the field, so I'm not going to have anything for Jalen Hurts. Do you guys see there? He just runs for the first down. So that's a tough play there. That's a tough play to get a stop on, too, because it's just fourth and inches, and you could easily just run fullback dive and get it, but he didn't there. It just didn't make any sense. That might be the – okay, so he's going to get a snap off before the third quarter ends, um, and he's going to throw an incompletion. So it's going to be second in to open up the fourth quarter. Um, and, again – I think he's trying. He's having to work for 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 the stuff he's he's wanting to get against me. So uh, versus us, we're just moving the ball down the field with ease. Um, so Tier Tart almost got home. He's gonna throw it back across his body. It's Travis Kelsey and oh my goodness, if Jack Tatum doesn't make that tackle, I tried to click on Jack Tatum and it clicked on to um, whoever was right there to make a tackle. Um, All right, that time's just running around. All right, so this is he's kind of got me on my heels right here. Um, I'm going to go hard flat. Throws it over the middle, picks up the first down. He's at the 10-yard line. If that clock just conti keeps continuing to tick, we'll be fine. All right, throws it away there. Uh, but, guys, if you saw that, uh, the competitive... Game we get between Joke and I think it was was it Wesley? Uh, that was something else, man. Joke had the game won. He's up by five with the ball. Wesley has zero. I gotta lock in here though. Throws it over the middle. Touchdown at the five. Um, and it's third and goal. It's gonna make a change here. I'm going to go two deep halves. I'm going to take away a corner route here. And it's incomplete. And it's going to be fourth and five. Do you take your three or do you go for the touchdown here? He's going to go for the touchdown. And that's Jack Tatum just breaking it breaking it up. Uh, the wheel route's always a great route in Madden. It's, it's probably the best route in the game. We're going to make sure we have some spies out on the field. Um... He throws it and he's gonna get in. I had hard flats out there. Christian Fulton unable to make a play. Uh, he uh, that would have been a great play to, to end the game on. He's gonna take his three, obviously, and go ahead and make it a two-point game with this. So yeah, he's going to drill it and make it a two-point game. 212 left. I'm gonna try and run the ball. Even though that's not been what, you know, that hasn't been what's working. We're trying to work the clock though. That's that's all right, guys, we're going back to that Madden 20 offense. We're going to actually audible out of it. All 
All right, that's a very, very smart low ball there. If I don't low ball that, that's an interception, and the game could quite possibly be over if I get picked off right there. So Hester has three catches for 31 yards. And once again, I'm just going to go ISO straight down the middle, and that is not going to get nothing really but a yard. It's going to be third and four, and we are going to go play action and throw the ball here and we're gonna get pressure on the edge All right, we're gonna go for it I mean we gotta quit screwing around we're trying to win the game too we can't just try and work the clock as much as possible I mean that's Joey Bosa getting pressure we got to pick that up though but because I went play action it left AP right behind the center so I don't have that extra back in the backfield to help me out there so here we go it, this this could possibly be the game um oh I might have Hester there Henry Henry is not gonna fumble with that X factor and that's gonna be very close to ending the game all we have to do is get one first down two clock and and really really just take advantage of what we have right here in front of us um coming back out to the shotgun we're obviously going to take this down as much as possible i knew i had to scramble with henry i was just trying to be patient and make sure his user was was paying attention to what was downfield rather than what was in the backfield as we're able to pick up a good game there he's going to call timeout which obviously he has to call timeout there uh and it's going to be it's going to be fullback uh fullback dive time Frank Wycheck, I'm not going to sky it over the top because Frank has the first and is going to have the game. This guy is not a bad Madden player, guys, uh, and, and this is a good win for us. This is really, really a good win for us. We could come out here and knee, but I want to try and, you know, you know, fullback dive again. Why not? I mean, why not? You know what? Kari, Blossom game, touchdown, Titans, and I know that doesn't really do much for us, but give him a chance, uh, but why not? I mean, why not throw it to Zach Cunningham, if you guys know from last video. Um, yeah, there we go. Extra point on the way to make it a nine-point game is good. That's probably the one thing he wanted me to do is throw a touchdown, so I'm going to give him a chance. I'm going to give him a chance here. All right, so really, if he scores here, obviously go onside kick and onside kicks this year aren't the worst idea you know obviously I'm gonna come out and onside recovery but you can still try and make it happen as he's gonna throw that there it's over the oh my god it's overthrown and Amani Hooker was there to make a play on the ball but he just did not he just did not and once again he's gonna flip the play have bunch to the right side of the screen here um, he's gonna try and throw that there it is imbalanced. He's going to have to take a timeout there. So you can take your three points and then go onside kick and try and score a touchdown, which is more than likely what he's going to want to do here because of the time situation. Uh, and if, if a ball is thrown inbounds here, more than likely the game is going to be over. Um, fumble. It is going to be scooped up by the offensive lineman, and he is going to have no time to get another snap off, and that is going to seal the deal. We win our second game today. This was a full game. Uh, got a lot more out of this one than you did the last one. So uh, two dubs today. Pretty successful episode if you would, if I'd say so myself. Henry, Jalen Hurts, dapping it up. Former Alabama players right there. Uh, and that's going to do it. So yeah, with that being said, I'll catch y'all back in the lobby and we'll wrap this thing up. All right, guys. With that win, I do actually get this 92 uh, t or 91 and 92 overall power up pass. Let me know what I sh who I should use that one on um, Because I do need a little bit of help there because I can't really think of anyone I'll probably if I look at the lineup here for a little bit. I'll probably um, It'll probably come back to me, um, but there's our win right there We need to rank up to level 33 working our way up to level 50 um, Get a little coin pack as well 
Man, you get so many awards now, rewards now, so uh, that's another good thing about this year. Um, you get strategy items, you get quick sales, uh, you know, you can level up, earn rewards, rewards that way. Um, so yeah, four and three on the year so far. I've yet to have a Super Bowl this year. Um, you know, I'm an MVP, I believe, right now, so um, yeah, but... If I were to look into some of these guys, I don't know who I would use this 91-92 overall power pass on. Andre Johnson has a 92 legend, so maybe him. Joiner, no, he's got a 90. Why check Julio? Nah, I'll figure this out later. I won't let you guys sit here and wait. But yeah, with that being said, two dubs today. One really good upgrade this week in that Christian Fulton. Hopefully, we see some more upgrades next week. Um... Just so upset that the Titans aren't in the Super Bowl. So, yeah, with that being said, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And until next time, I'll see y'all.